So if you've seen any of my videos, uh, you know I'm a fan of these SI5351 uh, frequency synthesizer boards. They form the local oscillator for many of uh, the radios and stuff that I build. Um, but I've been meaning for a while to uh, to basically uh, create my own uh, version of those that uh, you know is pretty simple. And I'd gotten this uh, you know this uh, SI5351, which you can see right here. Uh, and uh, an SMD crystal, this is a 25 megahertz crystal. I got them a while back with the intention to build up some of these boards and I never did. So uh, uh, I guess I finally got time to do that. And, uh, uh, and so that's what I'm gonna do in this little quick video. Um, so the, the uh, circuit's pretty simple. Uh, I'll uh, sort of move over to uh, um, uh, KiCad and we can see the circuit. Uh, it's very simple. A couple of pull-up resistors. There's the SI5351 itself right here. Uh, and then it needs a crystal. Um, and uh, uh, so let's uh, have a look at uh, this on uh, KiCad and uh, then we can uh, move on to building it. Okay, so here's the uh, circuit right here. Um, and as you can see, it's very simple. Um, we have a 25 megahertz crystal that's across uh, pins two and three. Uh, SDA and SCL come in uh, uh, to pins four and five. And as you can see, I've got a pair of pull-up resistors on that to 3.3 volts. 3.3 uh, volts uh, comes in on pins one and seven. Um, and uh, I am gonna be powering this off 3.3 rather than five volts and then having a voltage regulator in there. And then we have ground down here on the pin eight, and then finally the clock outputs on pin six, nine, and 10. Uh, I do have a little connector here so I can uh, connect it to the circuit, uh, but that's pretty much all it is. So uh, let's get on and build it, and uh, then we can do some testing. Well, that was a total pain, uh, even with the hot air gun. So I'm still not sure. I've sort of buzzed out continuity, and it all seems to be good. Um, I mean, just a note, uh, for those of you attempting this, this is pin one here, right, with the uh, circle. Um, but anyway, that seems to be on, so I guess uh, I'll get the uh, the header installed and then uh, we can do some testing. Okay, so I got the, uh, the little module uh, hooked up to an ESP32. Uh, SDA and SCL power is all there, and I'm probing uh, channels. Uh, this is channel zero this is channel two and uh, let's just move up i've got it set to uh seven megahertz and you can see there we've got a whoa, got a bit of you can see there that uh, we've got a nice output there uh in quadrature um so that i guess confirms that the the board is working uh one of the interesting things is i did find a bug in uh, one of the little pieces of software that i'm using to uh to test the SI5351. So I've updated that as well. Um, so anyway, that works. Um, I've got an alternative to the uh, uh, to the Adafruit and other uh, SI5351 boards. Um, so anyway, it was a bit of a pain though. I'm not sure if it was all worth it. Anyway, that's all for now.